Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to look at how you can connect to a CSV file within the Google Data Studio. So, so far we have seen that how we can connect to Google Spreadsheet and create various visualization. But now let's create a blank report and try to connect a CSV file. So CSV file can be connected using this file upload section or the file upload option. So let me click it over here and it will first show me if any of the previously uploaded files that I have also a new file which I need to upload. So if I click on upload and the file I have, oh, have it over here is the admission prediction. So if I click it over there, I clicked over there and now it will show me uh, the processing which it is doing. So we have the file name when we have uploaded the size, the processing, all of those uh, information. So right now the status is green and it is uploaded. If there will be an error, it will report an error to you with some information about what the error is. And then you can remove it by clicking on delete upload and then you correct the file and upload it again. Okay. So now we have this admission prediction. You can give a better name like admission prediction. So sometimes it may give issue. So if I just press tab, yeah, it has this time. So sorry, we could not rename your data set. Please refresh the page and try again. You need to click OK. So sometimes, as I mentioned, gives an issue like this. So you may need to sometimes refresh the, the data set again or the page again to load it. But for now, I think we are good and we will click on add. Once we click on add, the CSV file will be available in our data set. As you can see, the admission prediction over here and it will create a simple table as part of the first visualization which we can change that you must have seen in my previous video by going to these dimensions. If you want to choose a separate dimension, let's say for example, over here is a university rating and over here, if you want to choose any metric over here, so maybe for example, CGPA is something what we want. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to be a sum, but maybe an average. So all of that, you know, it is available. I have explained that a lot to you in coming days uh, in the previous videos and uh, that you can produce it. So that's about how you can connect to a CSV, any CSV file and uh, upload it for the purpose of reporting. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.